Stop giving love to these psychopaths. Psychopaths. You know they sick. Stop giving love to them. Chase them out of your neighborhood. Chase them out. Chase them out. It was a lady in Chicago who used to have a sign and walk around a project with the names of the people that was creating havoc in that project and walk around the neighborhood saying, please leave. My kids can't come outside because of you. Please leave. I can't play because you want to hang out on the street and people want to drive by and shoot you. So everybody in danger. Get off my block. I can't sit on my porch. My kids can't play because you done did all type of stuff across town and now they coming to get you. Now we all victims. Please get off of my block. I live on Shear. If you live in the South Ward and you know anything you can tell me, I don't have any problem. I'm tired of it, y'all. I don't have any problem. None. None. If you if, if, if you got some information about somebody who did something like that, tell me. I will tell them. I'm telling you. Tell me. This is too much. It's too much. It's too, and and I, I'm not afraid because I'm a tough guy. I'm, afraid, I'm not afraid because where I go, God go. That's just how I feel. I just feel that way. I feel that way. When I look in the mirror, that's who I see. I see God. When I see the mirror, I see him. With all of my mistakes and frailties and shortcomings, God is still there. And every time I show up, he shows up. You know how I know when I talk, people listen. When I do things, people move because my God is powerful. I don't serve no milk toast, buttonhead God. My God, man, how you afraid of something you talking about you believe in God? What you afraid of? You out here talking about Salam Alaikum, Allahu Akbar. You don't believe that God is great? If God was great, then you would act like he's great. You're his representative right here. Every part of your body represents him. This is you. Everywhere I go, every time I speak, he come there with me. When I walk in the room, God shows up. One time I was in Baxter Terrace, the police rolled up and said, you got to move because there was a shooting out here. Then one of them was smart, tried to search me a while ago and said, do you have a weapon on you? I said, yeah, my mind. My mind. The, the, the gun is not a weapon. I'm going to tell you this and I'm going to get out of here. They'll give you guns every day. Because you will shoot each other. A stupid person with a gun will never shoot his enemy. He always going to shoot himself. They give you all the guns you want. Where the hell you get these guns from? How you get a Chinese made rifle in the middle of Newark? You can't even get a decent loaf of bread. How you get an Israeli Uzi? You can't even get a, 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 some milk from the corner store. An apple that ain't rotten. But you're, you're, you got a, a Chinese chopper? They make AKs in Russia. How they get an AK-47 on Irving Turner? Help me understand this. People can't even identify where Russia at on the damn map. How they get an AK-47? Somebody gave you guns. Broke guns that don't work. Sights messed up. The handle messed up. The trigger locked. Everything broke. You trying to shoot her, you shoot him over here. You trying to shoot him, somebody, grandmother gets shot in the window. Kids got to fall down. Oh, you don't know what you're doing. And you high as hell at 8 o'clock in the morning. And you high as hell. Don't get mad. Tell me I'm lying. That's what you do. Tell you high at 8 o'clock in the morning. Off a cough, syrup, and Percocet. Codeine. Now, who the hell drink cough syrup unless they sick? Said it's medicine, fool. You take medicine because you in pain. Now you admit what you in pain about. Your life is in pain. So you taking Percocet at 14 years old. Blue juice. Now latest and damn cough, sir. They're teaching your kids how to kill themselves at 14. And then the store on the corner sell it to your babies. They getting Percocet from the bodega. Oh, help me out. They getting black and mild, 8 o'clock in the morning. I know I'm a principal. They come to school black and mild and they sneak up and this thing and that thing. Black and miles, blue juice, Percocets, codeine, all kind of stuff. High. Before 10 o'clock come, they woozy. They woozy. Then they listen to their rap. They put them headphones on. Yeah, that young shit, that dumb shit. That where you from shit. Ride around the hood all day with my gun shit. Yeah. And they all messed up. Somebody tell them something before they know it. They out the window, eyes closed, got the AK hanging out. Seven people laid out. They wake up the next one, don't even know what the hell they did. 
in the hotel room somewhere laid up looking at the ceiling. What the hell did just happen? Waking up in the county, don't know they done killed three people. Somebody got to tell them, no, you know you shot a, shot a little girl. Shot the people who killed, who killed Doug probably didn't, they found out in the newspaper. Coming off of their nod, off of their high, off of their, off of their perks. They found out, coming off of their perk, they killed somebody, now they hiding. They feel bad. Round they ass up. Round them up. Round them up. Guess what? If we did what we supposed to do, we would need the police to do that. Round they ass up. There's no excuse for killing no women. Round them up. Round them up. Now you into this lifestyle and you going back and forth, that comes with it. Now you shouldn't have been involved in that. It's people shooting women and innocent babies, round their ass up. Round them up. Put their name on the damn wall. Drag them outside. This person right here is responsible for it. He should dump his ass on the precinct all beat up already. The police should be trying to drag us off of him. He should be stopping his ass all the way into the precinct. Dragging him up. Guess what? If it happened in somebody else's neighborhood, you better believe that it happened. You better believe it. That's somebody, and I bet you the person who did it might be out here somewhere or his cousin or his brother. Tell him I said it. Tell him I said it. That they need to find him, and if you know him, you ought to set him up. Invite him someplace and let us get his ass. And drag him to the precinct. And let them know what community justice means. You sound like a vigilante. Yeah, I'm talking vigilante talk today. I'm talking mob justice right here. Yes, you, somebody tape it in your head. Get it right. Round his ass up. Get it right. Raz Barack, a councilman of the South Board. Round his ass up. Whoever shot down Reddick should be hiding for the rest of their life. And if anybody knows him or see him, they should give him up, call a local police station. Better yet, call some brothers that you know. Some big, bat wielding muscle-lifting brothers to come and take his ass to the precinct to make sure he don't get away. That's what you do. Then you send a message to every other fool in your neighborhood. Think twice before you do this. Think twice because there's repercussions for killing our women in our neighborhoods. Think twice. These people that are standing out here, let somebody kill one of their sisters or daughters in their neighborhood. You take your ass up to where they live at and kill one of their daughters. See how long it take you to get out of that town. They'll trap you off. They'll round you up. It's over. Until we get people to talk strong like that, we're going to be victims. I'm not no victim. And I'm not a punk. If you feel some type of way about it, I, I, I'm right here. I don't have a problem. The, the, the bottom line is we got to take control of our community and our neighborhood. That's it. All power to the people, y'all. All power to the people. Come on, let's clap it up for South Florida Councilman Raz Morocco. South Florida Councilman Raz Morocco.